Welcome back. Why is Cosmo so big? Yes, Cosmo. Oh. Now I'm big. Cosmo, why would you do this? Ah! Here we have a limited amount of big. There we go. Oh, unless that was actually the bird hitting me without me realizing? Yeah, it's kind of weird that Cosmo is so contact sensitive. Oh, even touching walls pops it. Contact sensitive Cosmo. It makes a sound whenever you. Oh, really? I can't start from here. Cosmo, why are you why are you like this? Why is your mag magic inhibited by location? It's really strange. So this also means Wana can just make enemies more powerful in a certain way. It's odd, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a thing. Okay, certain platforms blocks just go through, I guess. Yes, that's how you learn that. The game just kind of teaches it to you. And the game is very proud of me for it. They gave me a clover that did nothing for me. Get on the side. Quick before they kick you out of the house for having barge into someone else's building. It's weird. Things are just. Ha I feel like things are just happening in this game without much rhyme or reason. In the certain capacity, and it kind of has a plot. The one that I have a little bit of a hard time making out, even who. Even with the benefit of having actually played the console version already. Oh well. Like, would you have any idea what's happening in the game's plot if you had never seen the game before? In any way? I, I can hardly even tell what's going on at this particular moment in the story, even having seen the console version. Ow. I don't know if it's really that necessary to go through these, but I do like picking stuff up, I guess. I mean, the point is to see the game, so I want to go through and see all the stuff there is to see in the game. That's really hitting off there. Boom! But you don't really actually get stuff for picking things up, it's more just the... What? Come on. Okay, it's health. So it's kind of weird that I keep picking up health obsessively, I think. I'll see these little rooms anyways. A little ironic maybe to you getting hurt in the process of getting health like this, but whatever. What do those guys do? Oh, they do just like what they did in the... I suspected they would do that. They do exactly what they did in... Oh. And... Oh no. That was a wall. Similar colors. They do what they did in, in the GBA version of Breaking the Rules. Oh, and they don't do contact damage. Weird. I'll take it. We're done here? Yes, we are. There were, I feel like there were some blocks that was implied I could break through, but I didn't. Unless we're actually on the other side of that now, because doors where you can work in weird ways here in fairy land. Fairy world, I mean to say. It's also possible. I don't like your collisions. Uh, I think I can't launch fairies in any way. Look at that. Boom! Aha! Did I want to go down here already? There was stuff up here, wasn't there? And then I can drop back down to get those stars, which... I... 
There might be a point where I stop collecting stars, because there doesn't seem to be much of an actual requirement for them. Okay, do I go up or down? There's no explanation for why there's a time limit here. I'm just going to assume it's because... Otherwise... You get thrown out of the house too quickly. By whoever's living in there. Or otherwise inhabiting it. See, one normally wants to go up, so you would think this would progress in the level. Oops. Well, I used to jump better anyways. Now, uh, ladders are another matter. This is not accessible. I demand. Oops. You know what? Maybe we'll try going for Frog accessible ladders. Cool. Uh, how do you not do that? I actually have to... Oh, what? What? Okay, I'm trying to do something with Cosmo. It seems like I can't. Also seems to uh, have it, have an idea of some sort here. I can't do anything with him in the air. There we go. What? Why? I apparently can't get hurt in this one. Cool. I'm not sure what that was about. Did this take me somewhere here? I don't think so, but this door did. How did I not gone in here yet? Whatever. The game was proud of me again. But what was the point of that? Ow! I it to him plenty of times, so I guess it's fair. Jump. What's with this? Oddly, I tend to find myself liking music in lots of lots of games, GBA games included. And I actually really liked the music well a lot in Fairy World in Attack of the Toy Bots from the GBA. But on the other hand, I'm not very convinced by this game's music. It sounds like. Like, it sounds like it's underestimating somehow what the GBA is actually capable of sound wise, which is quite a feat. Go through. Well, this is a tall house. I guess that's what bachelor houses are like. It actually looked pretty tall from the outside, too. Ow. Bad shooting circular lightning as you go through a cloud. This probably happened to something before. I can't activate Wanda while I'm on a moon platform. Oh, that's worse! Wanda, why would you do this to me? Seems to be something to the top left that I could have accessed. Yeah, I don't really know how to get back from here, so, well. Feels like they could have done something with something somewhere there. What do you do? Demonstrate. I need to shoot stuff. Oh, the, the birds attack you too! Why does everything hate you in video games? I think I was trying to talk about this once, and I don't know if I ever actually... I can I considered talking about this once, I don't know if I ever actually did or not. The oddity of how... Things when turned into video games tend to help themselves greatly. Well, I mean, it's not like there's that obvious of a way to convert the Fairly Odd Parents show formula into video game format. But there seems to be certain things that are just expected in games, like certain elements like platforming, for instance, that just always show up in licensed games. Ah, I knew I could get that, so I just figured I would. I wonder if it hurts me if that falls on me. I should test that at some point. 
Oh, I see. That's how that works. Oh, I can even throw it. Ow. Okay, keep that in mind for later. Well, oh, that was a very convenient place to stop him. Haha! Shockwaves in the air are very strange but convenient. What's with all these stars? Oh, hey. Go over here, I wanted to try something. Yeah! <laughs> this game... And it's... Ah, counterparts on other platforms will never stop me from making things follow me. No matter how hard it tries. Ow. Stop that. But yeah, so... Games? Like, you don't... You tend not to see licensed games that are anything other than just platforms, I feel, platformers, I feel like. Or something closely related. Maybe sometimes something a bit more, like... Abstract in concept, like a bunch of mini games, like Atlantis Square Pantis blows. Ah, that was worse. Interesting movement path. Does this thing ever come up here? I have a feeling it doesn't. It comes tantalizingly close, but not quite. Ah. Whoa, what? Huh? Huh? What? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> yeah, that babe. I don't know what just worse. This game's a very pick your poison type of I'm not allowed I'm not allowed to fall, so if I fall they just teleport me back to the ground? Instead? Aha! I, like I said, frogs are better at jumping. That's fine by me. I can't switch to Wanda in frog form for some reason. You would think Wanda could just magic me back or something. Or even magic me into a frog if I wanted to be one. But apparently not. Yeah, random observation. Bah. <laughs> random observ... That's not a hard word. Observation with, with licensed games, considering I've played so many of them. They tend to have a lot in common in terms of just being some kind of traditional game format. Hello, camera, could you could you go right, please, camera? Why is the camera stuck towards the left here? I can't see! Okay, that at least keeps me from losing progress. Earlier it was actually sending me further back when I fell. I mean, I have seen some slightly different things, like Attack the Toy Bots DS being uh, a beat em up. But even still, it's always the same trope of. Oh, I have to stop first. Oops. Well. Reset the timer. I just want to get this half faction of throwing it directly into the thing. Oh. Does it still actually explode that way? I guess I just timed it right. The one time it seemed like it blew up when it hit a wall. Is this game really long or does it just not have actual cutscenes between levels or anything? Or like actual divisions between levels? Yeah. You just have. Oops. Hey. You just get a password for each room, I guess. And that's it. I guess that's just how, how the world is. I guess I just have to live with that. But even still, so it's always still joining the formula of just like having to fight random things, which Tends not to make much sense in the context of whatever the game actually is. Ha! <laughs> moving platforms actually move through Timmy. I was wondering what would happen if Timmy moved, got onto a moving platform while I was in control of Wanda, since the game doesn't seem to want that. Boss? Yes. Why would I do this, Cosmo? Oops, I was trying to do that. Ah, I, I managed to evade damage that way. 
Why would I want to do this? Oh, so we can straight up see the final boss again, or kind of the final guy. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Oh. Well, what's the point of Cosmo here? Alright, I don't know what Cosmo's great idea was there. See you next time. Monkey Muck for a like third of a second. What? Okay, bye.